Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 50. So yesterday we dove into the creation process of agent site pages, and I taught you how to create an agent site page that would collect testimonials. Today we're going to do the second half of that challenge, and we're going to show you how to actually display those testimonials using an agent site page on your agent site. So let's dive into the consumer applet here on the bottom left hand side. And we're automatically taken in, of course, to our agent site pages. You can see our capture page we created yesterday. Now we want to go in and create a new page. And this is going to additionally be on our agent site. This is where we're going to actually display our testimonials. So we want to click on create page. And from here, we actually have two widgets that we can choose to bring in. You have one or the other, depending on how you want these testimonials to be displayed. Now, it's important to note that you do need to have actual consumers go and fill out your capture page before you can begin displaying their actual testimonials. So yesterday's page had a specific link to it. So if we go in yesterday, we look at it, we can say, this is the link you would want to share with your consumers and have them actually confirm that they've filled out the page so that you can then begin displaying their testimonials. So the first thing we want to do, let's change our agent site page. This is going to be testimonial monial display page. Okay, so we've got that named and we can decide again to choose the carousel or the list feature. I'm going to bring both in just so you can see the difference of what they look like. So we've got the carousel at the top. Down here, we have got the list feature. So you can choose to bring in one or the other. I would not bring in both, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, the difference between the two, so you can decide in the future what that you know might do for you. So now we've got the carousel and the list. You're gonna choose one or the other widget to bring in. Then you're gonna click on configure widget. We're gonna choose the carousel first, and you can see on the carousel, all we have to do is put in our headline. So it says from our clients, we're gonna choose 60 characters. Uh, what people, spell that right, right? Say about working with Marty Miller. There you go, right? So that's what the headline is going to say. Then you can see what are the details that are actually going to be displayed. First name, do you want the last initial? Do you want the city they're from? Do you want how long they've been a client? And do you want the neighborhood? Now I'll tell you neighborhoods are not selecting right now, so don't stress too much about that. But then if you come down, you're gonna see selected testimonials. And this is where you can choose to view the testimonials that have been filled out by consumers. Now I went in and created some fictional testimonials from our favorite fictional characters. And you can see each one of those listed here. So, um, and it's important that you read through these, right guys? So I got five star, five star, five star, five star. And then we get down to old Balky and he didn't really enjoy working with me. So this might be a testimonial that I choose not to display. And that's the best part about this whole setup is you can decide what you want to show and what doesn't get shown. So I'm gonna click on continue. Now that I have selected the testimonials that I want to show up, I can click on save and apply. And you can see this is what the carousel view will look like. Much smaller, but the carousels will just kind of go through, or the, excuse me, the testimonials will go through. Um, it kind of captures a little bit of attention because it changes periodically. Um, but if you were just to do this as a single page, um, it's going to be a pretty small page. So you might want to embed this in another page in the future. You can kind of decide how you want to do that. Um, next up, we've got the list view. So we're going to change to the second widget, which is our testimonial list. Cool thing about this is you actually get a headline and intro text. So you get a little bit more content on this page. So what people are saying about working with Marty Miller and we can put the intro text um, we know they love working with Marty and yet we thought they should 
tell you themselves, right? Something along those lines. You've got the same choices, right? Whether you want to choose client details, whether you want to go ahead and choose in the different testimonials, you can kind of go through and select, and then we're going to click on save and apply. Again, you have that same opportunity. And remember, Balky didn't give us a good one, so we're going to leave him out. But we're going to click on save and apply. And now you can see what the list actually looks like. So a little bit longer and takes up a little bit more space than just our carousel. So now we can click on save changes. It's gonna to say, do you wanna to go to site map settings? We can say yes. And then from there, remember, we gotta take that next step, which is to add page. And we're gonna do the testimonial display page and continue. And then we have to title it, right? So reviews of Marty Miller, something like that. You know, what, what do you want that actual page to say in the drop down? And reviews of Marty, something along those lines maybe. And then we would put people tell us what they think about working with Marty Miller. Something along those lines for your SEO description. So once we click on save, now if we go into our agent site and we do a quick refresh, we're going to see at the very top, we now have the leave a review and the reviews of page. And so if we click on that, now again, remember this is two widgets stacked on top of one another. So this is the carousel and this is all you would see if you had the carousel here. And then from this point forward, this is the actual list view. So if you did the list view, this is what the actual page would look like. So you can decide which way that you want to go, uh, but this is how to actually display those testimonials that you captured using the page that you created yesterday. So that's it for today, guys. Kind of a, a second part of creating an agent site page using the widgets that are available to you from KW, and in this case, capturing and then displaying testimonials on your agent site. Tomorrow, we're gonna dive into landing pages, so stay tuned for that. As always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.